energy company SB Group is setting aside $35 million over the next three years to upskill its workers through a company training program. It is joining forces with the Union of Power and Gas Employees to form the CTC. The collection of chart recorder readings used to take Steve Char more than an hour's traveling both ways to a single site. On some days, he would collect data from several sites. But with some training to learn the use of new technology that's been put in place by his company, such tasks are done in a matter of minutes without leaving his office. With a smart sensor right now, we can actually monitor the pressure at the back end at the, our table. Uh, so it, it, it's actually cut down a lot of uh, trip through and flow. Uh, it's actually uh, 800 trip per year. It's uh, helped us in terms of uh, reliability and productivity and a sense of satisfaction. New technology has helped beyond the company's operations. It has also transformed the job roles of some of its employees. Like customer service officer Esther Hung, the former cashier is now the company's digital service ambassador. Now because customer everything doing, uh, doing everything online, so we have to learn to transform. So I learned internet and data management for work improvements. Now I'm uh, helping customers to set up at the e-kiosk. Initially I was actually very apprehensive because uh, digital is something very new to me. So, uh, but my bosses and all my kids are all, all very encouraging. They, uh, they encouraged me and it helped me to ease into, into this role. Ms. Hung says the new way of working has reduced a customer's wait time and she feels more confident serving them with the knowledge she acquired through training. Labor Chief Ng Chi Meng says the power sector in Singapore is undergoing changes and facing external pressures. But he added that it's a good sign that companies like SP are embarking on technological improvements. Very importantly, they are also equipping our workers with the necessary training through the formation of the company training committee so that this pairing of management direction and workers participation will bring the best outcomes in the shortest possible time for productivity gains to help the company remain competitive. He says the CTC will ensure that SP employees are equipped with the right skills for personal and professional growth. So far, more than 60 CTCs have been set up across various sectors in Singapore.